Welcome back guys, we're working out of the bunch here. I want to show you a couple other plays. We're going to be looking today at the slip screen. Uh, this is one of my favorite plays out of this formation. It's really a, a good complement to our PA post, our Z spot, uh, and things like that. So the slip screen. What we want to do, our first hot route coming out of the huddle is we want to put Des Bryant on a curl route. The next thing we want to do is we want to bring DeMarco Murray over to the left side of the formation. From there, uh, you have a couple options. Uh, you can just snap it from there and you can run it and it is effective. Uh, you can see we're going to get this little slip screen action and we're going to get DeMarco Murray the ball in space. It's really effective against blitzing defenses uh, in any zone. Uh, but if you want to make it even more effective, what I like to do is I like to take DeMarco Murray put him on an in route. It's going to get him over there a little quicker and uh, it's just going to make it a little quicker of a whole play. Uh, I personally think it's a better version. I think it I think it's better against man. Uh, I think it's better uh, against zone defense in general, but especially man. Uh, you see you get him the ball in space, you get him one-on-one -on -one at the edge there, and we hit the corner uh, and, and get up field for big-time yardage. A couple of things you can do with this as always, but this is the basic play. This is the – I like it against zone and man. I like it against blitzes. I like it off the run. Um, one thing you want to do if you want to mix it off of the run, you can bring Cole Beasley across, place him on a flat route. Bryant's still on that curl route. And then you can get an extra blocker out there uh, and try and take advantage of that. It's not, it's not always ideal. Uh, it's just something we mix in with this. But uh, like I said, this is something that I think is really good. Um, it's really something we use off of our running game. And uh, so that's why we can sometimes bring Cole Beasley over and, and work with him like that. Uh, the other thing we could do uh, off of all of this is we could take Murray and place him on a delay blue route. And what you're going to see here is, oh, whoops, I'm sorry. I placed him on an in route. It wasn't what I wanted to do. If we place him on that delay blue, what I want to offer and submit to you is I would like for you to also drag route Cole Beasley. And so your first read is going to be Cole Beasley against the zone. So here in the zone, we're going to pass lead down to Cole Beasley, and we now have blockers for him. Against uh, like a blitz or a man coverage, that's what you're looking for, sorry. And then against zone, so if they're in like cover two or cover three, what you're going to see here is DeMarco Murray is going to release to the flat, and we're going to kind of try to hit him as he releases out. If we have time, if we don't have time, we can always hit Cole Beasley. Uh, Cole Beasley is going to be really effective in this capacity. See here, pass lead down to Cole Beasley. I like to back juke to get myself going forward and then uh, work right off of that. So just a couple things. But more, the, more times than not, the basic hot routes that I do is I bring Murray over, put him on that in route, and then if he's not open, I typically look to Des Bryant. Um, you can max protect coming out of the huddle, but it doesn't do anything because of the slip screen. Uh, so you have to manually block Witten if you want him to block, and I will sometimes do that just to give me more time in the pocket. But, you see, I just really, really like the in route. I think it's just more effective. I like to pass lead it down into the outside where only my receiver can get it. Uh, like I said, this works against man and zone, which is one of the other reasons I really like this. Um, we're going to pass lead down to the outside. And you see that time Bobby Wagner did a really good job of cutting through the, the, the blockers. Um, but more times than not, I have a lot of success with this play. Uh, and if they are in man, I'll, uh, I'll typically go to uh, – let me see if I can get my hot routes in. If they are in man, I'll typically hit Des Bryant um, as well, pass lead down to the outside. And sometimes that defensive end will drop off, and if he drops off – um, this is also why I will sometimes uh, bring Cole Beasley either on an in route or a slant or, or an in route or a drag route across uh, just, just for that. If, it, if the defense happens to be coming out, uh, you'll see that also if the defense is coming out on the back end, they're not going to play Cole Beasley. They'll only play DeMarco Murray. And so that's why also we use that drag route. In my opinion, just some options. Uh, for you to do, and so that's what we like to do with the slip screen. So that's the halfback slip screen in a nutshell. Um, like I said, just a bunch of options. Um, you know, in a situation where we have a lot of, we think we're going to have a lot of time in the pocket, uh, I will typically leave him on the slip animation. Uh, but if in a situation where I think they're going to be bringing pressure or even in man coverage, um, then I'm going to bring the regular slip screen um, with the in route 
put DeMarco on that in route and get a sharp pass lead out there to him, get him in space against a cornerback and hope uh, that he can break a tackle. So that's the halfback slip screen. And I think we only have.